Hello and welcome to Jackson, Wyoming and the start of what should be an electrifying off-road adventure. I'm here to uh, photograph and videotape something called the Adventure Racing World Championships. It's a race where 50 teams from around the world have converged on Wyoming and they're going to be rappelling, mountain biking, bushwhacking, canoeing uh, through 500 miles of wilderness over the next six days and I'm going to try and follow them in that, a Tesla Model X. Uh, theoretically it's a 4x4, it should get me around and uh, some people have said it can't be done and even the race organizers have told the volunteers that they have to be careful of gas because sometimes there's 200 miles between gas stations so we'll see if it can be done or if I need to be towed out of the forest and also if you stay tuned I'll give you some tips that I learned towing a trailer here from Toronto Canada as well as what I did to prepare for the trip in terms of buying adapters making sure that I could plug into anything I came across. So I am now just a mere 11 or 12 miles away from the supercharger in Jackson. I am at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, but uh, I'm actually taking no chances, so I'm going to charge at every opportunity. The drive from Toronto to Casper was actually a piece of cake. Uh, thanks Elon and Tesla, there were so many chargers that even towing a trailer, I could go pretty much at top speed. But I, <laughs> I, I had a wake-up call driving from Casper, Wyoming to here in Jackson, and uh, at one point in time, it actually said that I was uh, going to be 20 miles short to make it here. Uh, then I just crested that uh, continental divide and got to go downhill for 30 miles, which uh, charged up a little bit of battery as well as being a free ride. But it taught me a lesson, gave me a kick in the complacency, and so now charging every opportunity I get. So while I have a minute here, we're waiting for some teams to show up. I thought I might as well show you what I have in the car. Uh, basically, I won't go into too much detail, but to say that I was not traveling light. Uh, I've got a bin full of clothes. Uh, where is it? There we go. Cam one camera bag, uh, camera equipment, multiple pairs of shoes. Uh, basically, those back seats are not clear when I'm driving. Uh, mountain bike, folding kayak. Very cool since the Model X doesn't have roof racks. I'll probably talk about that in another video. Uh, what else do we have here? More camera gear and the laptops in there somewhere. Uh, in the center bin between the, the two seats we have life jackets, uh, bike gear, climbing gear, bear spray, all, any number of survival tools. And uh, there you go. So just all of this is just to say it was not traveling light but still managed to get pretty good range on the car. Probably not rated range but, uh, but not too bad. So I'll take a moment to talk about the various plugs and adapters that I brought on this trip. I probably brought like 200 pounds weight of chargers and adapters. I think I own every adapter officially made by Tesla. With the exception of the NEMA 520, I have yet to see any of those in the wild, but you know, I, in case I ever do, I want them on hand. So the ones that I took advantage of for this trip are actually this one, the uh, NEMA 520. You know, a lot of people will tell you it's useless because it's it's only five amps more than a regular wall outlet. It's a surprising amount of those plugs around here. Pretty much every rest area, a lot of restaurants uh, had these plugs outside their building. So it was a nice option to have. Uh, the other one that I found useful was this one, uh, specially ordered uh, the TT30. Bought this from EVSE.com. It changes the lower amperage, 30 amperage plugs at campgrounds into the NEMA 1450 that you can use with your Tesla charger. Uh, it's, it's, it's not a fast charge, uh, but it was good when I was camping between superchargers on the way here. Um, you don't stop at superchargers. You don't stay overnight since it only takes 40 minutes to charge. And so I was staying between superchargers and this would uh, fill up the car enough that I was able to leapfrog the supercharger. But even with all these adapters I bought, I still managed to get stuck uh, at a place that had something that I had not recognized. Um, <clears throat> one of the rest areas that they had set up for staff and volunteers was a church. When they found out I had an electric car, they were willing to move the stove so that I could plug into the 50 amp outlet. But to my surprise, after we moved the stove and after I ran the 50 amp extension cord, which I bought just for this trip, in through the basement window to the stove, 
it was a plug I had never seen. So, um, you know, <laughs> you still get surprised. But on a whole, this whole week of driving in the wilderness off-road, uh, I didn't sweat it, I uh, had lots of power. Uh, I think a lot of people were surprised when they saw the electric car out there, places that gas cars can barely go themselves. So, you know, no reason that you can't take your Model X uh, onto these gravel roads. I am in the wilds of Wyoming, and I think I've reached a point where I'm comfortable saying I've pushed the Tesla Model X, but uh, I haven't gotten it into trouble yet. I could probably go a little bit further up this hill, uh, but I have less confidence in the tires than I do in the car. Those are the stock uh, wheels that come from the factory, and of course those are meant for road riding and efficiency, so I think the tires are going to give me problems before the car will. I haven't done anything crazy, haven't done anything reckless with the car, certainly nothing I wouldn't try with sort of an entry level uh, 4x4 like a Suzuki or a Honda CRV or something like that. And so this is where I'm going to turn back. It looks like I'm not going to make it to that last checkpoint that I wanted to. And I, one of the big reasons was I found a river that I had to cross. Not deep, not at all, totally would have done it in any other car, even a car perhaps, not even a 4x4. But I went out, stood in it, and, and it went past my ankles. I have a pretty good feeling the 9 inches of ground clearance that the Model X gives you would have been enough, but I certainly don't want to take a chance. But one of the things that I don't want to do is mix water and electricity, especially out here in the middle of nowhere. Anyways, now's a good time to stop. It was a good experiment. Uh, a lot of people who recognize what the car was, um, you know, would say, you know, they've seen them in the cities, but, you know, what are you doing driving it out here? And so it was good to educate people on the kind of range you can get, where the charging opportunities. Um, and so, you know, a pretty good experiment, even for myself, it was fun. And so here we are, and Tesla Model X all the way.